complete Taylor series for the function 1 over 5 minus x with center 0. So let's start out by writing the Taylor series formula. We're going to have 1 over 5 minus x is going to be given by f of 0 plus 1 over 1 factorial times f prime of 0 times x minus 0 uh, plus 1 over 2 factorial times f double prime at the center 0 times x minus 0 squared plus 1 over 3 factorial times f triple prime at 0 times x minus 0 cubed. And we're going to keep doing this until we can find a pattern in the coefficients. So let's start off with our function, f of x, which is 5 minus x to the minus 1. I'm prepping it because I know we'll take derivatives. So that means that f of 0 is going to be 5 to the minus 1, or 1 fifth. And that goes in this first spot right here. Next, we'll take a derivative. We're going to get f prime of x is equal to minus blank, uh, which is 5 minus x to the minus 2, times the derivative of the inside, which is minus 1. So the signs cancel. And we get 5 minus x to the minus 2. Plugging in 0, we're going to get uh, 5 to the minus 2, or 1 over 5 squared. And that's going to go right here. Remember, I'm not trying to simplify things. I'm looking for patterns. So the second derivative, let's see, we're going to drop the power down, minus 2 times 5 minus x to the minus 3 times the derivative of the inside, which is minus 1. The signs will cancel. And so we're going to have 2 times 5 minus x to the minus 3. When we plug in f of 0, or f double prime of 0, we're going to have 2 times 5 to the minus 3, or 2 over 5 cubed. And that will go right here. Uh, and then we're going to take a third derivative. So once again, we'll drop the power down. We'll have a minus 6 times 5 minus x to the minus 4 times the derivative of the inside, which is minus 1. Signs cancel, and that gets us a grand total of 6 times 5 minus 4, or 5 minus x, sorry, to the minus 4. Plugging in 0, we have the third derivative at 0 is equal to 6 times 5 to the minus 4, or 6 over 5 to the fourth. And then that's going to go right here. If we took a fourth derivative, just hunting for patterns, let's see what we're going to get. We're going to get a uh, negative 24 times 5 minus x to the minus fifth times the minus 1 from the inside. Signs change, and that gets us a 24 times 5 minus x to the minus 5. Plugging in uh, x equals 0, and we get that the fourth derivative at the center is 24 times 5 to the minus 5, or 24 over 5 uh, to the fifth that's going to go right here and would be the next term in our series. So let's leave some space for more of these guys and see if we can find a pattern. The denominators are pretty clear, 5 to the 6, 5 to the 7, 5 to the 8. What about those numerators, 1, 1, 2, 6, 24? Well, 1, 1, 2, 6, 24. That's precisely the factorial sequence, 1 factorial, 2 factorial, 3 factorial, 4 factorial, with 1 being 0 factorial. And so that would mean that the next term should be 5 factorial, 6 factorial, and 7 factorial for the pattern to continue. And notice that we can get cancellations. 3 factorials cancel, 4 factorials, 5 factorial, 6 factorial, 7 factorial. And so if we make these cancellations, we're going to find that we have a Taylor series of the form 1 fifth plus 1 over 5 squared times x plus 1 over 5 cubed times x squared plus 1 over 5 to the fourth times x cubed plus 1 over 5 to the 5 times x to the 4th. And we can keep adding as many of these terms as we'd like. We'll put in, here's the x to the 5th term and the x to the 6th term that we've worked on already. And so the upshot is, this series right here is easily communicable to anybody else. And so it's the Taylor series for 1 over 5 minus x centered at 0.